end times is not to fill our conspiracy theories and curiosity but it's to change our conduct apostle peter, peter clearly stated he says because you know this is coming he says you should live holy not you should fill your head with conspiracy theories christians knowing that jesus is coming we can debate whether we will go through tribulation or not we can fight over all of these nuances who is the antichrist is it joe biden is it pope francis was it trump who is the next antichrist we can debate and fight over is the COVID preparation for the 666 but the bible tells us as christians our goal is not to go into that sphere our goal is to go into holiness that is what we should be doing the second thing that we should do in these end times and the reason why i don't want to go too deep into that and start describing every single trumpet what that trumpet means and all of that because honestly none of us really know and the guy who spits spit comes out of him and doing a youtube video or facebook video or writes a book and he puts a date and when jesus is coming honestly nobody knows nobody knows how that's going to happen and we we can't try to figure every single thing out we have to take the lessons that the bible teaches us which is to live holy when you know that he is coming and secondly is this is to store more in eternity and less here knowing that this earth will come to an end it does not mean we don't save money it doesn't mean we don't invest we build we, we we don't get married it just simply means we build more there than we build here can somebody say that and thirdly my favorite part we got to do business jesus says do business till i come meaning do conferences build churches help the poor drive out demons heal the sick raise your family pay down your debt lose your weight be nice to your wife come on be nice to your kids fix your car come on do a 21 day fast let's add another service let's start another internship why because do business till I come. He didn't say sit on your butt and wait for the Antichrist. Come on somebody. He did not say I want you to wait what the government will decide what you can do. I want you to wait for a new string of COVID. He says do business till I come. That means kill the sick, cleanse out lepers, drive out demons, preach the gospel, establish my kingdom. Come on somebody, touch your neighbor say do business till I come. Touch your other neighbor say do business till I come. Get married, have a family, build your house, live for God. Why? Because we don't live with the mind that the Antichrist is coming. We live with the mind Jesus is coming back and we are waiting for His coming. We will do business till He comes. We will build churches till he comes come on somebody we're gonna have conferences until he comes we're gonna have services until he comes we're gonna pray for the sick until he comes we're gonna give all the calls until he comes we will baptize people until he comes we're gonna write books until he comes we're gonna write cds until he comes we're gonna launch a school until he comes we're gonna launch internship until he comes come on somebody La, ba, 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 bo, sanda. somebody dropped it in the chat if you are on youtube do business come on tell that person right above you who just chatted say do business till i come the bible says in acts chapter one when disciples got together in verse six they said therefore when they had come together they asked him saying lord will you at this time restore the kingdom to israel Jesus just came back in the flesh. He's resurrected Messiah. And disciples are asking him, Lord, is this now? And I think sometimes when pandemic happened, that's what a lot of people are also asking. They're like, is this the end? For some people, yes. For some of you, no. And they're asking, is this the time? and this would be a good for Jesus to speculate so no guys hang in there two more thousand years um no um he's not giving them a timeline he's not giving them some prophetic insight into Ezekiel's prophecy he's not giving them none of this stuff literally Jesus does not cater to end time conspiracies I know I'm gonna offend some, some people who's literally end times is your favorite topic 
And that's incredible. Antichrist is your favorite person. <laughs> You're like, man, I know so much about him. <laughs> do you know Jesus? Man, I know what Antichrist will do. Do you know what you should do? I know Antichrist is busy. Question is, are you doing business? Come on somebody. Are you healing the sick? Are you cleansing the lepers? Are you building your family? Question is, are you studying your Bible? Are you doing business? Not in what is the devil been busy doing? Hey, verse 1, chapter 1 verse 6 and he says, Lord will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And Jesus' response and this is, this is our church's stance on end times. It's not for you to know the times or seasons which the Father has put in His own authority. But you shall receive not a mark of the beast, but power. Mm. I'm not talking about a jab, power. You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me. So Jesus is saying, whatever the anti is going to do, whatever these people are going to do, Rome is going to do, emperors are going to do, whatever chips they're going to hand out, rules they are going to make. He says, I want you to know you are of a different kingdom. And the timeline of what God and how God is turning the history and how God is using all of that in His purpose. He said, leave that to Him. It's too complicated for you kids. He said, leave that to him. He says, what I want you to do is I want you to know that as I am leaving, the Spirit of God is coming. He is not coming to help you sit and wait for Antichrist. He is too big, too powerful for that. The Father is not giving you the power for the sake of waiting. He's giving you the power for the sake of purpose. You shall receive power. That means the last days for the church are to be powerful we are not pitiful we are not victims we are not waiting for the devil to make a move we're making moves we're making moves we're making moves come on somebody we're making moves we're doing business we're doing business for god we're making forward we're taking steps for the lord